Hey guys, and welcome to the fifth and final video in my Python classes and objects tutorial series. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about public and private classes and how to import your own classes from other files into like a main file. Uh, you'll kind of see how, what that really means as we move along. So the first thing to talk about, it, I guess, would be what is the difference between public and private? So I've brought an example here. I've just kind of written this random example in Python to try to illustrate this to you. So in other programming languages, there's things known as private and public classes. Now, private classes typically can only be used within the same file or within like a certain scope where public classes are accessed or can be accessed by everyone. So private kind of means within something, like it's not accessible outside of that, whereas public means it's accessible everywhere. Now I have just a definition I found on Google that I'm just gonna read because it's the best way to kind of explain it and I can talk about it after. So in terms of Java, and we'll talk about this in a second, uh, public versus private class, and this is the same for most languages, means this. So public is a Java keyword which declares a member's access as public. Public members are visible to all their classes. This means that any other class can access a public field or method. Further, other classes can modify public fields unless the field is declared as final. Okay, so what does that all mean? And why did I just give you an example in Java? Well, in Python, there's actually no such thing as private or public classes. There is conventions that we use to declare like a pseudo like private or like a public class, um, but there's not really anything restricting us from using private classes. So hopefully I can explain this, but pretty much this first class up here is private. And what makes this private is the fact that we have one underscore at the beginning of the class name. Now in Python or in Java, for example, when you create a class, you would do like, you could do something like this, like public static class. And then that would mean that this is a public class. You could say like private class. Now in Python, we don't have those. So the way that we define this just as a convention is you start with one underscore and then the class name. Now to create a public method or like attribute of a class, it's the same thing. You just use one underscore. So for example, you can see I have two display methods here. One is a private method as it has an underscore and the other one is public as it doesn't have an underscore. Again, like I've said, it doesn't actually matter. Like you can still use this the regular way you'd use a method by calling dot underscore display. But by putting this underscore here, you're essentially telling other programmers and even maybe yourself later on in the future not to use this. And you're saying this is private. I don't want you to use it. Obviously, if they decide to use it, that's their decision. But it's just telling you like, don't mess with this. Don't use this. It's private for a reason. And typically when you private things, that's because you don't want other classes to be able to use it and like mess with the class or do anything like that. So same thing here, when you create an entire class as private, that means everything within the class is also private. So I'm gonna go over to this file now and you can see I have one file mod and one file tutorial one. Um, now mod is this one that we just went through, tutorial one is a new file. And you can see that I'm actually importing mod. Uh, so I'm importing this file. Now when I do that, what that does is imports all of the classes and functions that are within this file. So for example, if you wanted to organize your program, you would have a bunch of different files that contain a lot of different classes and you would import them by simply typing this at the beginning of like your main script. This way you can keep everything organized, clean and neat. And then you can see from mod, I'm importing not private. So the way that this works in terms of importing individual classes is you type the name of the Python file, in this case mod, and then the name of the class or function that you wanted to import. And in this case, I want to import not private. So I can simply do that. Now, say I remove this line, I say import uh, from mod import not private. I'm still able to access not private just in a different way. And you can see now this goes red. The way I would now do this is I'd say mod dot not private because it's saying we're looking within the mod file for the class or function not private. But it's just easier to do it this way so that you don't have to type mod dot before all that stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to show you this working, I guess. I have uh, this not private class. You can see we have two displays. And when I run it, we get high. Now, I also want to show you the fact that although I told you that this class is private and that this method is private, that we can still actually use them. So if I simply do test dot underscore display, you can see that this now works perfectly fine and it gives us hello. So 
I just felt like I had to make this video, although it's not really an important aspect in Python, just because if you guys are going to be learning different programming languages, you have to understand the difference between private and public classes. It's very difficult to illustrate within Python because there's nothing that's truly public or private, but just know that if you ever run across some classes that have underscores at the beginning of the name or underscores before method names, for example, like .init, then that means that they are typically private or want to be private at least so you should probably not mess with them and not use them that goes for you as well if you are programming and you want to create stuff that you don't want people to kind of mess with just put an underscore before the name it's just a typical convention in python uh, to do that to create a private or public class anyways that's been it for this video and for the series i hope that you guys did enjoy the series and you did learn a lot if you did please consider subscribing and hitting that like button as it would mean a lot to me